Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing four products from the Ordinary Skincare line that I truly believe are effective when it comes to hyperpigmentation. Now a lot of us can suffer from hyperpigmentation, whether that's redness, dark spots, past acne marks, and the list goes on. There's different types of hyperpigmentation, but there are four products from The Ordinary that I truly believe are effective, and I use these on my skin, and I really do see a big difference in my skin while using these products as well. Now, even if you don't use The Ordinary Skincare line, these four products that I'm gonna be sharing in this video, you can find these types of products from other skincare brands as well, and they will also be effective, so you don't have have to worry. Just knowing what these four products are are truly going to make a big difference in your skincare routines if you do suffer from hyperpigmentation. But before we get right into today's video, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell, by doing so you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video and I do upload videos every single week. All right, so let's get right into it. Now, like I mentioned, there are different types of hyperpigmentation. There's freckles, melasma, sunspots, redness, and then of course you have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is normally caused by trauma to the skin, either from the sun, from acne, or from cuts and scrapes, and even insect bites as well. As these spots heal up, these spots can be left with either a pink spot or even a dark spot, and of course there are top Topical products that you can put on top to help fade these areas. But of course, depending on what type of hyperpigmentation you are dealing with, it will also determine what type of treatments are needed for you as well. And there's a lot of people that do have to see a professional and get laser treatments done, microdermabrasions, and of course, professional chemical peels as well. But in today's video, of course, I'm going to be touching base on four products from The Ordinary that you can apply topically to the skin that will help Help with those post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation areas. Now, if you are new to my channel, I do suffer from post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. I do have a lot of post-acne marks on my cheeks, some redness as well, and I am using products to target this skin concern. And of course, I am using other products on the side other than the ordinary to help with this as well. I am using a retin tretinoin at a 0.025% strength, and I do find that that product has really Really improved my hyperpigmentation but I know not everybody can get their hands on a prescription retin-a so that's why I'm creating this video because the four products that I'm going to be mentioning are really effective so the first product that I'm going to be mentioning is the ordinary alpha arbutin 2% plus hyaluronic acid now this product is really going to help to lighten your dark spots this is also going to help fade acne scarring and post acne marks and this really is effective especially if you are consistent and you are using this every single day so this can be used in the morning as well as nighttime this can be used twice a day if you really wanted to use it that much and this can be paired with anything from the ordinary skincare line as well as other skincare brands as well just make sure that you're always using your water-based serums together and then you go in with your creams and oils afterwards so alpha arbutin is also another alternative to hydroquinone. Now here in Canada, we cannot purchase products with hydroquinone in them, but I know there's parts of the world that can purchase hydroquinone. Now hydroquinone is a lot stronger than alpha arbutin, but this is an alternative and this is also safer as well and not as strong. So if you are somebody that is looking for a mild alternative to hydroquinone, then this is going to be a great product to incorporate. So you can apply this to your entire face if you'd like to. You can also apply this product to your hands if you do have some post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation on your hands or even your neck. You can use this on other areas of your body as well. Or you can just spot treat areas that are your problem areas. So some people will have some dark spots on their face. You can just grab a drop of this and just touch up any areas that you have. So alpha arbutin is actually extracted from blueberries as well as cranberries. So that's why this ingredient is a lot safer to use. Then of course you have the hyaluronic acid in here which is going to keep your skin replenished and hydrated. So this is a fabulous product. It's very comfortable on the skin. It's not sticky. 
and it goes well with a lot of skincare products and it sits well underneath makeup as well. So like I said, you can use this twice a day or you can just use this once a day, but the more you use it and the more consistent you are with it, the quicker you're going to see results. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like right there. And as you can see, it's your traditional water-based serum and it does spread across the skin very nicely, not sticky like I mentioned, and it absorbs really quickly as well. The next product that is great for hyperpigmentation is the Ordinary Ascorbic Acid 8% plus Alpha Arbutin 2%. Now the Ordinary does have a good amount of vitamin C's to choose from. Some are cream based, there is a powder based as well, and then you have your serums. Now vitamin C in general is going to be great for hyperpigmentation to help lighten your post acne marks, your dark spots, and acne scarring. It's going to make the overall appearance of your skin a lot brighter. So even if you suffer from just dull looking skin, vitamin C is going to be great to brighten up your skin in general. So I do like this one from The Ordinary and of course I do use some other brands as well that are a higher percentage. Now the higher the percentage of vitamin C, the better in my opinion. Anything over 20% and above is the best. You're going to get quicker results. But the lower percentages are still going to be effective as well. They just may take a little bit longer to see results. And I did recently just upload a video on my go-to vitamin C serum so if you haven't seen that video I will leave it below for you as well as up here if you'd like to check that out but the reason why I like this one the most from the ordinary is because you also have the alpha arbutin in here so not only is vitamin C going to help brighten your skin but the alpha arbutin is going to be doing the same thing so if you're using this vitamin C hand in hand with that alpha arbutin serum that I just mentioned this is going to be a double dose of that alpha arbutin so you're gonna see quicker results by combining this vitamin C with that separate alpha arbutin serum and I really would suggest this if you are somebody that has a lot of post acne marks and a lot of darkness to your skin this will help but I really like this super effective I use this every single morning when I am not using this of course I am using my other types of vitamin C but I never skip a morning with vitamin C because vitamin C in general really does make a big difference in the skin so I never have have any irritation when using this. I never experience any breakouts with this either and I do like to apply my vitamin C's after I've cleansed my skin and then once I've done that I then like to go in with all of my other products afterwards. That's very important to put your higher strength products on first and then of course use your other serums and moisturizers after. So I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand and this is a fairly watery product in my opinion. So it's already running down my hand there. And then when you rub it into the skin, it does absorb pretty quickly. It spreads nicely as well. And there is a little bit of an oily texture to it. Now this is oil free, but it still has that oily slip to it. So once this dries down on the skin, it won't become oily anymore. But at first you will feel that it does have that texture to it. The next product that is great for hyperpigmentation is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10% plus Hyaluronic Acid. Now this is an alpha hydroxy acid and this is a milder form of an acid as well. Now mandelic acid is also another milder form of chemical exfoliation. So if you are somebody that has sensitive skin, these are great acids to choose as these will actually not cause the irritation like a glycolic acid would. Now I used to use this several years ago I stopped using it I went to a glycolic acid and glycolic acid really is effective glycolic salicylic acid azelic acid these are all great products to help with an uneven skin tone with hyperpigmentation but like I said some acids are more strong and then of course you have the acids that are more mild so the glycolic acid did work for me but I was starting to notice that my skin was starting to become tingly when I used it and I was experiencing a 
lot of dryness with glycolic acid. And I think that's mostly because I am using Retin-A Tretinoin and I am trying to up my usage with it. So whenever I use the glycolic acid on the nights that I did not use my Retin-A, I really noticed that my skin became really irritated. So I did resort to the lactic acid and my skin tolerates to this acid really well. So I really do like this one. Now, of course, if you do have sensitive skin, maybe drop down to the 5%, but currently I am using the 10%. Now, if you are looking to clear up discoloration on a darker skin tone, sometimes the overuse of AHA products like a glycolic acid toner can lead to more post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So you may want to resort to a lactic acid, perhaps the 5%, or the mandelic acid. Now, the acids should be used ideally at nighttime, and you don't want to exactly use them every day because you don't necessarily need to use acids every single day. You may want to use them a couple of times a week or maybe every two days or something like that, but if you are using other high strength products like a Retin-A, of course you don't want to be combining your acids with your Retin-A as this can be pretty drying on the skin and it can be really harsh on the skin as well. So it's best to keep the two separate as much as possible. And this is a watery product as well and you do have to work pretty quickly with this also. It spreads across the skin really nicely, but your skin will just absorb this. So I usually do about three to four drops for my face and about two to three drops for my neck. And considering this is an acid, this is very hydrating and moisturizing on the skin, believe it or not. Whenever I put the glycolic acid on my face, my face feels instantly dry. It feels pretty tight, but with the lactic acid, I don't get that at all, and it feels really comfortable. And the last product that truly is great for hyperpigmentation is the Ordinary Retinol 1% in Squalene. Now, the Ordinary does have three types of percentages when it comes to their retinol, the 1% being the strongest. So if you are new to a retinol product, it's best to start off with the lowest percent and work your way up to the highest percent as this will prevent a lot of dryness and irritation. And then as your skin becomes accustomed to that percentage, you then want to increase it to the next percent. And the same idea goes with the Ordinary Grand Active Retinoids. You want to start low and work your way up. So it really depends on whether you want to use the retinol or the retinoid. They will do similar things. They will help with fine lines and wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, and give you an even skin tone over time. So you do need to be very consistent with the retinol product. This is something that will work, but it will take time to work as well. And this is a great product to have in your skincare routine at nighttime. So it's best to use these ideally at night. You only want to start off with a couple of days a week, especially if you are new to the product, just to see how your skin does and then eventually increase it and then get to seven days a week eventually, if that is your goal. But the more times you use a product like this, the quicker you will see results. Like I said, I do use Retin-A Tretinoin, but sometimes I will take a break from that once in a while and then I will incorporate this in my nighttime skincare routine. So as you can see, that's what it looks like there. And then when you rub this into your skin, it does spread nicely as well and this feels very comfortable on the skin also. So I do like to apply this after my water-based serums because there is an oily feel to this. It's not oil-free, so that's why you do want to use this after your water-based serums, just to make sure that you do have the proper layering there. And if you don't use water-based serums, then of course you'll want to apply this right after your cleanser and then go in with your moisturizer afterwards. So these are four products that I would recommend from The Ordinary to target hyperpigmentation. These are very effective, especially if you are being consistent with them. But please make sure that you are wearing a sunscreen on an everyday basis because these products will make your skin more sensitive to the sun and we are trying to reverse the hyperpigmentation that we have. So it's really important to be wearing a sunscreen to prevent these areas from getting darker and from developing future hyperpigmentation areas as well. So that is everything in today's video and I really hope that you found it helpful. And of course, I will see you all in my next video. So take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.